Day 112. My search for survivors, survival, escape, has taken me to the basin of Hush River Valley. And though there are really no signs of uh, civilization here, there's been much to live off of. Things I don't need to live off, though, are a can opener and a book about cooking, because I was wise enough to raise my skills to cooking level 5 before I even left Mystery Lake. So today I'm uh, continuing to search uh, this basin area for additional resources and signs of life. What the devil happened? As I approach month 4 of uh, Great Bear Island, I'm falling into a regular cycle. Firewood, food, Water is usually pretty simple. Boil that up before you go to bed. Make sure you've got enough for uh, supper and for breakfast. But if you keep that cycle occurring over and over, you're usually going to be okay. It's the new cycle of life here in the frozen north. But if it's what's uh, kept me going for four months, I figure it's what will keep me going on for an additional four. I'm finding a starkness to Hush River Valley that borders on beauty. I'm finding some appreciation of it when I'm not locked in the jaws of a flea-bitten canine. I suppose there's a yin and yang in this valley. You've got to take uh, the pluses with the minuses. Well, I suppose I have to. I prefer to be home even in the hangar, but no amount of wishing is going to change that. I can't grow wings, and I certainly can't fix the plane. But maybe if I walk these streams long enough, I'll find a way out, find a fresh water. We can talk about building a boat or something at that point. But fresh water in these temperatures are going to be a rarity. But have to have hope. Speaking of hope, I think I see supper. Alright, let me get my... No, I want my bow, not my bait. <laughs> Flare gun to a bunny, yeah, that would be a mess. Alright, come here. We're gonna bow shoot the bunny. Like that! I'm so much better at bow hunting bunnies than uh, stone sniper. I'm not even gonna worry about that one. You know what? If archery keeps rabbit meat on the table... That keeps you going pretty good for a while, so I'm not going to complain about that for an instant. While I'm here, um, well, if I can get up the hill, we'll take a look at uh, Moose Outlook and get that taken care of. Part of me is always amazed about these logs that you can walk across them. I mean, they're essentially round, covered with snow. I'm amazed you're not sliding across them like a cartoon character. But thankful for it, because slipping on these things would hurt. And in the ever-faithful uh, cartographer quest to get these uh, locations knocked out, I do believe we should be coming up on the Moose Outlook any time now. Forget how far out it is. Is it up this hill? Should be. Come on. I know you're cold. Just stick with me a little longer. I see something to search with. There we are. Moose Overlook. Uh, outlook. Split a hair. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I will go ahead and go up to the edge here just to try and get as much bonus for mapping as possible. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it as much as I can. That continues to get that river uncharted more and more. Okay. Alright, so what's up here worth my trouble? Anything? You got supper for me? <laughs> Tinder plug. Worthless at level five. <gasps> oh yeah! That's worth it. One, two. I don't even care about the broken arrow. That's a never And a full but one hundred percent survival bow. <laughs> I guarantee I'll have to use that. I guarantee it. Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that ran! <laughs> I love it. That that one.
one's going to keep me laughing all day long. <laughs> okay, we are getting pretty cold and my condition's taking a bit of a hit here. I think a smart move would be to uh, get back to the shelter to at least take a warm-up nap. We'll take a look at what time of day it is. I've already got supper shot, so anything right about it's not now. a bad day in my book. I mean, if I've got food... Yeah, we'll take a little bit of a snack here from the oldest. But if I've got food and fire, shelter, and water, you know, it's kind of like live to fight another day, man. The one thing you've got plenty of is time if you take care of everything else. So let's, uh, let's get warmed up here and take a look at the next couple of hours then. Another thing HRV has taught me keep an eye out for the cast uh, for the caves with the bushes in front of them. If you want to drop a fire to protect yourself from a wolf, it gives you a pretty secure location. We'll get back here in the corner, which I found usually is about the warmest spot. And I want to take a look at maps just for a minute here to see how I'm progressing. And for those of you curious on how I'm progressing with Hush River Valley, we are down to We've already discovered 16 of 24 locations, so I've got 8 remaining. And if you hit the Force Reveal, then uh, you'll see these question marks. They change to the names of the places you need to actually visit and map. Little tip that I made a full video about, but if you missed that, I wanted to make sure you saw that here. So we're down to about 8, and we can move on to the next map keep on uh, chipping away so to speak wow and from just kinda sitting and reading the stats my temperature already went up a lot right there so I gotta say the caves are not bad plenty of foods good for the night so that's looking good let's go ahead and get the mat down cuz I don't think we're gonna be doing too much more today and we certainly don't need to be carrying the gear drop that Lighten the weight a little bit. <laughs> a ruined can soda. I'm still gonna drink it. <laughs> I'm gonna need to eat. Some. Uh, yeah. uh, hypothermia risk. I don't want to do anything too stupid, but I also don't want to have an accidental freeze when it looks like we got a storm coming in. So I think I'm gonna spend just a couple of minutes and. Uh, Try to get some uh, wood supply built up uh, to uh, get like this. And this too. And as I'm coming around the home stretch here, that sun's looking pretty bright now. Looks like the storm we had decided not to come, so. Ooh! If I hurry, I can have a free solar fire. So I'll take that in a heartbeat. Uh, let's grab uh, Long Dark's favorite game Pick Up Sticks! Uh, go ahead and grab that. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't want to waste the breaking time. I want the sunshine to start a fire. So let's go ahead and get this knocked out real quick. The free fire is always welcome. 90 yes, that's going to work well. Sticks. Throw one of the cattails in just to get rid of them. I know I don't need tinder, but if you pick it up naturally, I just kind of throw them in there just to kind of burn it out. Because then... You know, I actually Come remember on. to do it Come instead on. of forgetting to drop them in a cave somewhere. And then, you know, you're carrying three pounds of cattails. I almost did that. I carried three pounds of matches once, so, you know, I try to be smart when I can. Okay, that so we got a fire. Drop another stick in. Take my torch. The wind is good, so we go ahead and bring this fire on indoors. And the nice thing about this method as well is if you haven't gotten to fire level 5 yet, then uh, this also helps to uh, count as double fire starting. You get one for the outside and the indoor, so definitely something I encourage. Oh, give me a sprain risk because I picked up charcoal. Come on. Alright, let's get another fire going here. Yeah, I mean, you literally have burning wood in your hand. How could you possibly screw this up in real life? I'm thinking about this. I mean, uh, I'm a scout commander. I've done a fair bit of camping. I've often moved one burning stick over from right. a fire to start the other fire. How do you go wrong with this? Anyway, 
Uh, okay, let's get this fire kind of uh, going for the night a little bit. I want to boil up water. I want to cook. You know, I've got the standard chores that I need to do. You know how these things go. Go ahead and drop some of the firewood that I've picked. I've got about, wow, 30 sticks. Not too bad. No, I don't. I don't want 30 sticks worth of tinder. Oh my gosh. All right. That is not bad. Um, I am thirsty. Okay. Uh, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to settle in, do the nightly routine. I'm going to take a quick warm-up nap to get myself feeling better. And then we'll start chipping away here. I will catch you in a little bit. Day 113. Weather seems pretty decent today. And considering my review of uh, the locations, I think we're going to try and uh, cross some territory, and I think we're going to try and do the rope climbs. There is a lot that we need up top, but up top on the north side of the ridge instead of the south side that I came from. So I think we're going to try and uh, move on up. Moving on up to the north side. To a deluxe lake in the sky, and I'm gonna Looks get like copyrighted. I survived another night. Even though these aren't the lines, because that's the way that the tune kind of sounded. Bonus points if you even recognize what that melody is. This is gonna be one of those that divides the grown ups from the teenagers. <laughs> and I got so busy singing. I forgot where the rope is. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Let me do a second look to sweep through here and not be distracted. Back in a sec. Nope, I was right the first time. I just hadn't uh, walked far enough to encounter the rope, but I was didn't I wasn't keeping track because I was distracted from my completely, totally awful, horrible singing. And I'll admit to it. <laughs> All right. And I can tell already that this is going to be one of those climbs that I'm going to need my uh, sleeping roll to take some naps in between. Uh oh, oh yeah, that's another climb right there also. Okay. But this looks to be a little bit more than a ledge, so... Yeah, this definitely looks to be more than a ledge, so... It's a good view, though. While I'm here and the skies are clear, I'm going to map this. What do we got? Okay. We're continuing to reveal more of that. Firewood, good to see. Just in case I'm cold. I doubt I'm going to take this up a rope, but I will most certainly gather it. I don't think I'm going to necessarily to break up that to one this cold. there. But we got a nice little nook and cranny here. Picking up sticks! Alright. Take a look through here. Lantern. I'll take a lantern. Uh, food. Firewood. Okay. Good find. Not gonna be upset one bit. Okay. Alright. Just kind of keep scouting a little bit here. Trying to think through things. Trying to play smart. Trying to think like a gamer. You know? Uh, yep. Picking up sticks. Picking up firewood. Plentiful here. You must think that you're going to be cold. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and drop some of this here. I don't think I'm going to need all of this. Uh, cold. Okay. I'm already getting hypothermic. But on the upside, uh, my condition is completely maxed, so I'm going to let that go just a little cold for a little bit. I mean, I literally cannot have better outfit. Yep, and this is another one of those things about Hush River Valley that you need your hatchet to get through. Um, HRV is actually really good loot for you to enter into after you have your hatchet. You don't want to start your game here, but if you can come into it after you've at least got basic gear like a hatchet and a bow, um, you can do pretty good here. Uh, if you can, uh, you know, hunt the wolves down a little bit and cut your way through the brush, there's a lot of good stuff to have here. I've actually had someone ask the question, 
what's in an HRV to have us go there since there's no like buildings or civilization and I get what you're saying uh, yeah I know there's no forge but there's plenty of supplies there's plenty of bedrolls knives hatchets bows and arrows as I just proved uh, plus there is plenty of food so it is uh, you gotta think a little differently but if you're willing to do that uh, it's definitely a good region to try I definitely encourage everyone to uh, check out HRV I'm surprised uh, at uh, my enjoyment of it as I'm trying to get this fire going and again making use of the torch and some of this firewood and stuff I think is gonna stay here I don't think I'm gonna necessarily try and carry this up oh you darn thing come on. come on and that's why we use the torch ladies and gentlemen that way you've always got a second chance to make your first fire and we'll throw in the tinder I really think Tinder should add a fire starting bonus. I mean, even if it's not required, I think it should add like 3 or 5% to the bonus of starting a fire. Because trust me, you do need some sort of Tinder to start a fire in real life. Alright. It worked. I'm going to get myself warmed up here, and we're going to talk about what happens next then. Alright, so, went ahead and uh, downed a T to uh, give myself a warmth bonus while I'm doing the climb. And uh, the basic concept is to get up top and then we are going to look for another cave to kind of camp out there for a little bit at least to uh, knock a lot of those out. From what I can tell, the north east corner of Hush River Valley is on kind of an escalated uh, level again. Again, the elevation differences of Hush River Valley is something that I am needing to adapt to. I am struggling to balance this out sometimes, and I can tell that this is going to be a double, if not triple, uh, rest climb. So, I'm curious how this is going to go out. Okay. Alright. Okay, good, I did make it. I was almost concerned there for a moment. Okay, so let's pick this stuff up. How am I going to play this? Ugh. Okay, so let's start a fire. Because if I have to uh, take a rest, I want to... At least it's going to be a solar fire. If I have to take a rest, I want to take it warm. I don't like the idea of me taking a one hour nap and then the blizzard comes in and completely frostbites me. That is not what I'm looking for in this game. Uh. But that magnifying lens is coming in very good and I'm actually quite happy that I was uh, smart enough to grab that and to uh, make a uh, ascent on a day with decent weather. If I was trying to do that, uh, come on. Let's get this halfway close there. No, not pick up. Sleep. If I was trying to do climbs and blizzards like I've been dumb and done in the past, I got really lucky one time last summer during uh, the... still feels like 27 degrees, well. But my temperature is up, so that's good. Okay. <sighs> Be kind to me, come on. Push through. Push through. Okay. Come on. Just a little more. We're gonna do it. We're okay, we're okay, we're good. Ha <laughs> ha! We are tired. But we are up here. Yes! Feels like something is sapping my energy. There we are, nicely. Sweet. Okay. What's up here for us to enjoy? More to the point, where can I get a nap in? <laughs> I just climbed the mountain. Where can I get a map? Okay, Pensa Vista. Good. This is one I needed to knock out. Alright, let's get to a good vantage point. Let's get this map then. Beautiful. Good territory. 
And I think I'm looking across to where I've mapped already. Okay, we are getting them knocked out. We are getting them knocked. Okay. Blondar's favorite game. I know I make the joke, but, you know, I've got to make the joke for sanity. You know, and I'm up here on, you know, isolated territory here. And I'm going to try and live off the land as I can. So, yeah, I'm going to live off teas a little bit. Okay, it's about midday. <sighs> okay, I don't necessarily want to set up a permanent camp for the night. But I really think I maybe need to take a rest nap to get myself through a little bit. This cave looks awfully inviting here. <laughs> I think I can use cave it. antibiotics! <laughs> What, do that make them or something? Good gosh. Okay. Yep, similar design. Okay. Take a look here. Alright. Let's get that. Come on. Oh, there we are. 56 degrees. Okay. Uh, I just want to err on the side of caution. You know... It got cold on me before. I just don't... Eh, I'm just going to sleep. It's 56 degrees. I'll be fine. This black is taking too long. Don't you freeze me to death. There we are. Alright. Um, let me do a quick recon on this level. And see what the situation may be. Okay, so there's some wood and sticks in there for me already. I mean, at a certain point, a cave's a cave. Okay, I can always move to the next cave tomorrow, but if I have the supplies to get through the night, we are already in the afternoon, so... Let's go ahead and check this pass out. Look ahead, looking for the uh, crows circling above me, marking me for death. <laughs> and we'll yell, yep, um, not ready yet. Not my turn. Not going yet. Okay. Not so worried about stakes right this second. Although, good to know we've got about... Whoa. I'd estimate about six pieces of firewood between those three logs, so well, that's good. And yes, I see that uh, bark rub as well. But I kind of don't want sticks, feather... I kind of don't want to deal with an elk right this second. This will come in handy. Because I'm exhausted, and I'm highly concerned that that will result in me getting a broken rib with minimal supplies to recoup on. So, okay, what do we got up here? Oh my god. I think I forgot to map this before. I think I was up here before and forgot to map this. Oh my gosh. I'm an idiot. Well, that this name never triggered. It's new, so... Oh well, I'm not going to feel too bad about it. The bottom line is, here, I'm here, and I needed to map those other locations anyway. So, yeah, let's not worry too much about the past, but... Okay, we got the lake, a couple of waterfalls. I'm kind of scouting out. I do see the birch trees. I think I see little bunny foo-foo. Can I make little bunny foo foo supper? I wouldn't mind it. Let's see what fate's gonna say today. Oh! Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not hurting for calories by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm not gonna feel bad that way, but we're still gonna try. Ha 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 ha! There we are. Okay. This stuff will come in handy. You see, I'm just a thousand times better with shooting bunnies with my bow than I am hitting them with rocks. Uh, and I can't, you know, be upset that, you know, your archery score improve, improves for shooting bunnies with your bow. That's a great way to get your archery oh, scores up. Because it. <laughs> it still counts as hunting. So, uh, it's a great tip out there. You know, if you're trying to uh, get your uh, archery up, 
bow hunt some bunnies. You'll need their skins anyway. I'm commonly getting these uh, skins recycled into uh, my hat and my gloves. So, Okay, so we've got Watchful Falls here. Okay. And it looks like we got another cave with uh, the uh, brush front. I don't know if I want to move with this kind of time uh, left in the day, but that is definitely an option I'm willing to consider as I need to get this area kind of uh, mapped out here. Let me take a look in here. I am looking really heavy and tired. But while I'm all the way up here, let's take a scout and see what's uh, up here worth my entrance. <laughs> We've got a wolf. Oh my gosh, a gun. Okay, well, uh, carcass, that's fine. Food. Good gosh. Coal. We got a revolver. We got coal. We got a couple of books here. We got a fire starter. Hat. My gosh, this is Christmas. This is not bad. <laughs> Dang, I swear, I found better loot in Hush River Valley than any other map. And I think that's intentional. I think it's like, look, we know there's no buildings here, but the loot you do get here makes up for it. So, um, I'm definitely going to have to uh, retract a few of my complaints about Hush River Valley. Now, don't get me wrong. There are wolves. They will kill you. But there is reasons to come to Hush River Valley. I'm getting Besides weaker. the fact that faithful cartographer requires you to. And I see my red line exhaustion with uh, uh, just as much as you do. I'm trying to not waste the daylight. You know, I'm trudging through, trying to get these locations mapped because part of me wants to get this done and part of me just wants to be done with this. Looks like we got fog rolling in here. We got fog rolling in. I'm tired. And you know what? I'm not going to push it anymore. All I need is a wolf attack, and I'm going to be hurting. I'm already dead exhausted. My condition is not bad. I've got food, I've got supplies. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and head back to that first cave and make up shelter for the night. Well, you've seen me make shelter a couple dozen times by now, all right? So while the uh, sunshine is good and the weather is uh, green with us, I'm going to say thank you for watching. If you want to see more, that's what playlists are for. And if you want to know if I live to see tomorrow, leave a like and subscribe. I'm Commander Tom, and I will see you next time. Thanks.